So you've been using Midjourney, and suddenly it ain't free anymore. What you gonna do? Stop creating art and cry into your paint tray? Yeah, yeah, Midjourney was pretty good. Kicked ass for a little while. But those days are over, people. There's a new challenger on the block. Wanna know who and what we found out? Playground AI might just be the best alternative to Midjourney that we've seen so far. And here's the jam. It allows you to generate 1,000 images per day without paying a single penny. On top of that, it'll do what Photoshop AI Generative Fill does all day long. You have gotta see this AI image generator. And if you're thinking 1,000 images per day, the quality must be way off. Check out these images that Playground created. In this video, we'll show you how to create AI images for free and we'll compare it with Midjourney for good measure. So stick around. There's only one winner. Spoiler alert, it's not Midjourney. Okay, let's see how Playground AI works. As soon as you go to their website, you'll find features like mixed image editing, extending images, erasing objects, or turning your ideas into reality. As we said, all similar features to those you'd find in Photoshop AI Generative Fill. Two, for the price of one. To begin, click on Get Started for free. As soon as you make a new account, they welcome you with a quick tutorial. For this purpose, the default canvas is 512 by 512, and you'll need to type in a demo prompt. The tutorial will then guide you on how to move and use this canvas. Then you're advised to select a filter from the left bar. There are dozens of options to choose from, like vibrant glass, watercolor, realistic vision, RPG4, and so on. They even have app icons, Polaroids, and almost any art style you can imagine. Then they'll ask you to click on Generate. Once the tutorial's done, you're going to want to get right into it. Go to the board section, and if you type in just a simple starter prompt, it'll produce kind of weird looking images that free AI image generators are notorious for. So you'll need to be as descriptive as possible and don't be afraid to get creative. A good idea is to initially describe your prompt in a simple sentence and then expand on that and then include some tags. Choose a filter from the left side and type in your detailed prompt. Then type a negative prompt where you add subjects or elements that you don't want in your image. By default, Playground AI offer negative prompt options like noisy, blurry, distorted, and grainy, but you can add whatever you like. If you want to be highly specific about the output you want, you can even add an image from your PC as a starting reference point. Then select a model from the right bar. You've got SDXL, Stable Diffusion 1.5 or 2.1, and Playground V1. SDXL is the latest and most advanced model. Then select your image dimensions. And here's a bonus tip. Playground AI is based on a stable diffusion model trained on a massive dataset of 512 by 512 images. So if you divert from this resolution, you're likely going to get distorted images. Then choose the prompt guidance value. The higher the value, the more effect your prompt will have. And then there's seeds, which allow you to recreate on top of previously generated images. Once you're done, click on generate. You can create more variations of your image, download it, or edit it on Canvas. In Canvas, it'll either have a blank box or the initial image you generated. You can even upload an image and use that as a starting point. On the left side, you'll have the filters. Choose whichever you want and click on Generate. And again, if you want specific results, use the Image to Image feature. On the right side, there's Image Dimensions, which can also be adjusted by holding and moving the purple box. Choose the filters according to your needs and click on Generate. If you want to edit it, place your cursor on top of the image and you can either crop it, remove the background, or use it for image to image generation. When removing background, you can erase extra parts by using the top middle eraser tool, or simply by pressing E on the keyboard to activate it. You can also adjust the eraser size. If you want a different background, generate a new one by typing a prompt, or add your own image straight from your PC, then hover your image over the original. To do this, right click on your generated image and click on bring to front. Set it on your new background, right click again and lock the image. Then you can upscale your image. To do that, again, right click on the image and click on upscale by four times. But if you just want to extend one side of your image, then adjust the image dimensions. Hold and move the purple area to where you want to extend your image and click on out paint. Hey team, please subscribe and leave us a comment. We always want to know what content you're into. So how does Playground compare to Midjourney? First up, the pricing structure. As you know, Playground AI offers 1,000 free images per day. Midjourney's basic plan is currently $10 per month. No free images with Midjourney. Round one, the playground. The next thing you look for in an AI tool is its accessibility. Midjourney is an invite-only platform, so it's not open to everyone. 
and it can only be used on Discord, which makes it kind of complex for new AI users. Playground AI is accessed via its website, and it's open to anyone. It's all self-explanatory, and they've provided starter tutorials to get you going. The second round also goes to Playground. In terms of features, Midjourney allows you to generate text to image prompts, and you can also edit images. But the features in Playground AI are every bit as good, and on top of that, they have their own built-in version of Photoshop Generative Fill. So on that basis, it's round three and knockout to the new heavyweight AI champion, Playground AI.